47th Street is, is the Diamond District. You have cut cutters, contractors, manufacturers, dealers. The dealers sell to the storekeepers. Not, not just all, all over the States, but all over the world. They come here from China, from Japan. They come here from all over the world to buy diamonds. Forty Seventh Street started during the war. All these refugees came from Holland and Belgium. That's where the main industry used to be. They needed workers here. They brought with them a lot of rough and whatever, whatever else. So they needed workers. So what they did, they taught a lot of a lot of people. They taught them how to cut diamonds. My my brother taught me. He himself was a very busy man. He didn't have time to teach me. So I learned more or less on my own. After less than a month, he said to me, you can go out and look for a job. <laughs> Meanwhile, I didn't know anything, you know. I went on a job. I was there for, for two weeks and they fired me. And then I went to, went to a, different, a different shop to work and there was the, a boss there. So he was the one that actually taught me. It's quite a story. But that's only in the diamond line. The, the rest of it comes uh, during, during the time that I was in the army. That, that's the main story. The National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with the American Jewish Committee, brings you now a special broadcast of historic significance with the first Jewish religious service broadcast from Germany since the advent of Hitler. It was broadcasted from coast to coast here in the States. The Swiss service was being held in an open field underneath a blue sunlit sky. To hear the sound of artillery come, because the front line was not far from where we are. There were shells coming over as we were conducting the service. I did all the, the singing, you know. I used to have a, I had a dramatic tenor. I felt some gratuity, gratified for doing it. I also thought about all the family that I left behind. As far as I know, it was almost everyone had distant uh, relatives uh, that perished. I uh, started as a cantor right after the war. It's true that uh, they didn't pay much, but uh, <laughs> that's beside the point. That's the reason why I went into the diamond line. There's only maybe a little over 100 cutters altogether in the, in the industry now. I could be the oldest too, for that matter. Most of most of the manufacturing and everything else is being done, done elsewhere. India became the biggest industry now because it's cheap labor. They're the ones that are cutting most of the diamonds, you know. I get satisfaction, especially if they're my own. You know, my own diamonds and I finished it up and they see the, uh, the end result, you know. They always get satisfaction from that. I mean, everybody gets satisfaction from something that they that do and it comes out well. When you're used to doing something, uh, something that you've been doing for so many years, uh, just uh, routine, that's the word, it becomes routine. I am a master. I'm the best diamond cutter in the industry. Absolutely. I mean, take a diamond that's, uh, let's say, a broken diamond, and you, and you bring it back into shape, you know? It's a master, masterpiece, you know, sort of. You know, like, like Picasso or whatever. You know, it's something that you feel you're, you're doing something that, that, has, uh, that has, has value and has, uh, and it, and it has beauty. That's the word, beauty. I got that. I like that. Just like a beautiful uh, canvas.